and the new things that are approaching as your program moves into a new year. So let's see if we can get this game, get this home game here. Abstratos Cal Caligarius to uh, jump for Norfolk State against Amir Bennett. John Stansberry even had a little bit of time in the game Saturday. He's been missing for a while with injury. Opening tip, loose ball. They hustle back to it. Joe Bryant Jr. trying to get it along with Pinky Wiley. Bryant touched it last, and then it went out of bounds. Hornets will get the ball to start the game. And John Crosby, the one-year player for Delaware State, transferred here for his senior year out of the University of Dayton. Inbounds it to Pinky Wiley. Wiley, a junior, will be one of the mainstays on this team next year, as he was last year as a, a sophomore. Shot for three from Bushrod, senior. well off He's the mark. Senior. Yeah. I guess Bushrod figured I'm going to get me a shot in here early. Yeah, and I don't know how don't, long this is going to last. I don't know how long I'll be playing, but he pushed one up and forced it. There's a shot for three from the corner. It will be uh, Bishop on the shot. Jermaine Bishop for three for Norfolk State. Now Wiley evens it up with three. Pinky Wiley from right in front of the, the, the Spartans bench. That's good to see there. He didn't hesitate. Pulled it up deep. And three. Got it to go. We're evened up. It's Bishop with the ball. Sends it over to Calaveria. Jarius. And another three. I'll tell you, that's by back Bishop. to back threes with Bishop. Makes it a 6-3 game. Now Crosby to Wiley. Wiley to the left side. Out to Crosby in the middle. Crosby sets offense. Back to Wiley over on the left. Wiley tries to fake the pass into Bennett. Sends it out to Crosby. Rolls around the rim. Won't go. Comes out to Caligarius. I tell you, Bushrod is not shy about shooting it, buddy. Shot from down on the left side by Joe Bryant Jr. Misses. Wiley will bring it down for the Hornets. Wiley down in the corner to White. Tries to pass it inside to Bennett. The ball batted out of bounds by Bryant. Will be Hornets ball. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. We have 18-15 left in the first half. Well, Joe, Joe Bryant had a, um, um, what is it? Um, I'm sorry, Joseph White had an opportunity to pull the trigger to yep. get him a shot in. He, you know, he, he deferred, so... Couple substitutions now. Fahim Janetto in for Delaware State. Along with Omari Pete Green. As Bushrod and White went to the bench. Shot by Bennett blocked underneath. Carter tried to get the alley oop going to Caligarius. Couldn't work it. They send it out to Bryant now in the left corner. Baseline move. He gets blocked out by Omari Pete Green. But from down in the corner. It's Good. Jermaine Bishop. He has all nine of his team's nine points. Tell you, three field what, goals from outside the arc. I don't know what Bishop ate for, for, for pregame. Amari Pete Green with an air ball for three. Missing. Down to Caligarius. Out to Carter. Pass. Caligarius couldn't handle it. Went out of bounds. Hornets ball. Amari Pete Green will handle the inbound pass for Delaware State. As Bishop guards Crosby, he'll send it over to Wiley, who's guarded by Devontae Carter. Carter, uh, Wiley to Amari Pete Green and back over to Wiley on the right. Comes over toward the middle now and looks inside. Hornets in the white uniforms, red numerals. Now Wiley drops it for three more. And the only people who scored in this game are Jermaine Bishop and Pinky Wiley, and they both hit threes on every shot that's gone in. Yeah, Wiley said, this is my house. You're not going to come in here and I'll shoot me. But you know what? I'm going to take that back. They gave Bishop two on his last shot, so it's an 8-6 game. Now, Norfolk State shooting, missing. Tried to save the ball. It went out of bounds instead, and it will be Hornets ball down by two. Uh, an opportunity here to tie it with 16.47 left in the first half. Well, the Hornets have been able to take that quick punch there by Norfolk State. Crosby, long pass down on the side. Pinky Wiley comes up short. 
Bennett grabs the loose ball. They clear it out. Crosby now for three. Has the arc. Oh, it bounced. Hit the rim. Bounced around and wouldn't go in. Bishop now takes it down the length of the court. He tries for three. It misses. Scramble for the ball. Taken by Norfolk State. Shot by Devontae Carter. And it's good for two. I'll tell you, the Spartans are coming out shooting early here. Blazing. All guns blazing here. Now just three players have scored. Jermaine Bishop, Devontae Carter, and Pinky Wiley. Amari Pete Green into the paint. Count the basket and he'll go to the line. That's a nice shot there by Amari Pete Green. You know, nice hard drive. A little mid-range floating going left and shooting it across his body. Basket's good. Spirit Ricks called for the foul. Sending Omari Pete Green to the line. 66% on the season from the charity strike. And his shot is good to make it a one point difference, 10 to 9. Woo. Well, tough shot right there. It's a very tough shot. Bonde Carter with another two-pointer to make it a 12-9 game. Norfolk State up by three. Amari Pete Green just off the front of the rim. Came out to Bennett. Bennett couldn't get it to go. It came down. We'll have to see who that is. Uh, and wearing number 50, Keonvi Chavez, I believe it is. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Norfolk State. And a timeout now here with 15.40 remaining in the first half. Norfolk State 12, Delaware State 9. Hornets basketball back at you in a moment here on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. Minutes and 20 seconds into the game here. Norfolk State up by three. Need tickets to an event? Go to magiccitytickets.com. Magic City Tickets, as always, your tickets to the world. Looking for tickets to the MEAC tournament next week. It'll be a good place to check. Hornets ball. Crosby inside. Passes it out to Green. Green, good move. Spin into the paint. Got blocked from behind by Calagarius. Yeah, Delsey has to be careful here. Though. North is putting on a little pressure, speeding them up. Vonde Carter over to Kianzi Chavis. Chavis over to Bishop in the middle. Bishop giving it off to Chavis on a crossing move. Carter now working with Bishop. And the ball tipped out of bounds by Omari Pete Green. The Spartans ball with nine seconds left in the ha the uh, on the shot clock. Omari Pete Green goes out. Miles Carter coming in. And when Miles Carter comes into the game, things happen for Delaware State. No doubt. Um, Hornets, I think the Hornets are going to play 2 3 zone here, half court. It's into Bishop. Bishop sends it left side. Three point shot missing for Norfolk State. Guess who went over top of everybody to get it? Shortest guy out there, Miles Carter. Carter tries to drive through players. Gets fouled on the way in. Looks like they're going to get Keonze Chavis. Yeah, his athleticism, his athleticism is unmatched. You know, he, he looks like a little guy, but he's, he's built very well, Miles Carter. So 
So it become Hornets ball again. Spartans playing 2-3 zone out of, out of bounds situation. Got a charger foul here on Miles Carter. And nice hard drive there, but they got him for a little bit of the arm extension. Aggressiveness. That's the first on Delaware State as a team here in this half. Five minutes and 15 seconds into the half. They pick up their first foul. Hornet showing a little pressure here. Three-fourth court, 2-2-1, two, two, dropping back into 2-3. Jermaine Bishop trying to get court. past Pinky Wiley. Sends it over to Carter. Carter inside to Chavis. Chavis from the foul line off the back of the rim. Carter grabs it on the fly. Brings it down. Waits for the offense to catch up. Sends it back to Crosby. Now back over to Carter. Inside to Fahim Gennetto. Gennetto off the back of the rim. Grabbed by Bishop for the Spartans. Bishop gets it over to Chavis. Chavis works inside. And the big dunk by Chris Ford. Yeah, like I said, you know, the Hornets got to be careful here. You know, North State is pushing the tempo. Carter sends it right side to Gennetto. His jumper misses away from the ball. We have a foul. Yeah, they got to be careful because North State has put on a lot of pressure and just kind of forcing tempo here. And, and I don't, you know... Amir Bennett got called for it about uh, six feet away from the basket and well away from where the ball was. Yeah, initially, they thought the foul was on North State, mm -hmm. but it got reversed. Hornets down by five right now, 14-9. to nine. It's an uphill battle today against the team that sits in the number three spot in the MEAC. Hornets ran in that zone again. Here's Bryant being worked over by Wiley. Over to Chavis on the right. Works inside. Jumper missed, but got fouled. And it looks like it'll be Janetta, uh, on, on offensive foul. They got him for the charge. Chavis on, a, on, a, on charge foul. That's the second team foul, second foul on Chavis. And the fourth on the team. 13.40 left to go in the half. Nova State showing pressure. 1 2 2 full court here. Let's see how the Hornets got to deal with it. Cross court from Crosby to Carter. Now back to Crosby at the logo. Wiley on the right side. Looks up. Fakes three times like he's going to shoot. Finally says, might as well. You didn't come out and get in my face. Just hit off the rim and came down Chris Ford. Yeah, it's a tough shot. I got to believe you can get a better shot than that. So hopefully they'll, you know, pick a while probably was a heat check just to see if he was red hot here. Bishop. Working, sending it over to the middle to Daryl Anderson. Anderson, top of the key, shot missed. Crosby grabs it, lead pass ahead to Wiley. Wiley pulls up, lets the offense catch up. Sends it back to Crosby. Spins into the lane, loses it. Bryant brings it out for the Spartans. He'll feed underneath. Nice baseline move there by Daryl Anderson to get loose and grab the ball. Yeah, again, we got to be careful with pace here. You know, Nova State is trying to push the tempo. And I don't, I mean, I'm not sure if that's the tempo we want to play. So hopefully Coach Skeeter is going to regroup here and reset things. 12.50 left in the first half. It's Norfolk State 16, Delaware State 9. More Hornets basketball on HSRN, the voice of HBC. the ball. Well, we saw a couple of turnovers by each team. Norfolk State went for a layup. Carter got fouled on the way in. It'll be Fahim Gennetto called for his first personal foul. American Spirit Federal Credit Union is a proud supporter of DSU on HSRN. Stop by one of their offices in Middletown, Newark, and Dover. Find out how they can help you save money. Devontae Carter at the line. A 59% foul shooter on the season. Carter missing the first shot. Ah! 
And Carter's second shot goes in to make it a eight point lead, 17 to nine. Carter with five points here in the first half. For Delaware State, a stolen pass. Miles Carter trying to get it to Leroy Moore. It was tipped and taken away. Down at the other end, Norfolk State unable to score. Hornets three on one. All the way down, Leroy Moore with a layup and a basket. 17 to 11. The camera guy got the point of that. Yeah, those guys that work underneath the backboards, I don't know why they sit, because they're going to get killed underneath. I've seen a lot of camera operators still and video get uh, massacred underneath there. There's Daryl Anderson giving it off to Keshawn Hicks. Hicks passed underneath. Shot missed. Follow-up missed. And the Hornets come away with it. John Crosby grabs it. He'll bring it down the left side. Crosby passing over on the right side. They send it out to Miles Carter for three. A big shot there by Miles Carter. Getting more and more comfortable behind the three. 17-14 now with 11.05 left in the half. That's Devontae Carter from the corner. Shot by Daryl Anderson missing. Loose ball. Grabbed by the Hornets by Ron Lucas. And as he tried to clear out, contact made for the Norfolk State player. It was an elbow to the face, and they're going to call the foul on Ron Lucas. Ron Lucas gets called. And we have the timeout now with 10.53 left in the first half. It's a three-point lead for Norfolk State. Delaware State University basketball continues on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. things from the Hornets. They're going to call that a flagrant foul too as Devontae Carter goes to the line to shoot two. Missed the first, got the second. 18 to 14, remember just before the break Ron Lucas grabbed a loose ball, turned around, went to move and to pass it off. And When he did, the elbow flew. He got Devontae Carter up high. Now Norfolk State with the ball. And it's Devontae Carter being guarded by Crosby. Down to Bishop in the corner. Back out to Carter. Bishop comes out and takes it from him. Moves to the right side. 
Guarded by Pete Green. Over to Bryant. Bryant into Calo Calajarius. His shot missed. Leroy Moore brings it down. Over to Omari. Pete Green out to Crosby at the logo. Now gives it to Moore. Crosses around the right side to Trey Gross. Gross to Crosby. Crosby moving into the foul circle, backing out to Moore. Moore out to Crosby. Six seconds on the shot clock as Crosby puts it up. Hits off the right side of the rim. Comes out to Devontae Carter for Norfolk State. Hornets try to put some defensive pressure on there. Cross-court pass clears out to Jermaine Bishop. Bishop to Calabarius. Back to Bishop. Hornets try to steal it away, and it's going to be a foul. Called on Leroy Moore as he tried to reach in on the move to take it away. That was a good hustle there by Moore. Getting after it a little bit there, trying to get to come up with that, that steal. Tough angle. Yeah. But he gave a great effort. Not the smartest foul, though. He, you know, hard to reach in like that and take the ball away. 9.48 left in the half. Crosby goes out for the Hornets. And uh, let's see who came in there. Amir Bennett. Inbounded. In the backcourt to Devontae Carter. Carter Calagarius. Calagarius works around to the right side. Gives it off to Bryant. Back to Calagarius. Moves around the defender. Steps up. Ten-foot jumper and got it. 20-14. to 14. Norfolk State now with a six-point lead. Leroy Moore goes cross-court to Green. Green goes up. His shot blocked. Come right down into his hand, and he gets it up for two. And then down at the other end, Devontae Carter puts it in to make it 22-16. Yeah, like I said, you know, the Hornets have to be careful. They're trying to play at the same pace as Norfolk State. And... Um, it kind of appears that Norfolk State, this is the pace they play at all the time. So you don't want to mess around and get into a track meet that you're not really built for. And the turnover by Delaware State gives it right back to Norfolk State into Carter. Carter to Bryant. Bryant, that right side of the lane, sends it down in the left corner to Bishop. Bishop sends it out to Carter. Carter. Shot. Passed over to a phantom player there. Nobody in the area. And sent it right to the Hornets bench. John Crosby, Gatorade in hand, made the catch. Break for the Hornets now with 8.50 left in the half. Wiley and Pete Green playing catch as they come across center line. Pinky driving in. Long cross-court pass. Leroy Moore by himself goes baseline, sends it to Amir Bennett. Bennett tries to go up with a jumper. He gets fouled. Shot missed. But it will be uh, Spirit Ricks. That's good ball movement there by the, by the Hornets. Uh, Pinky Wallow was trying to make a play. They got double teamed. Skipped to the backside. They were able to get to Amir Bennett for a possible uh, layup here. He got fouled in the act. And Amir Bennett going to the foul line. 62% on the year. Hitting off the front of the rim. Missing. Bennett played November uh, February 8th against Norfolk State down at Norfolk, but didn't score in that game. He hasn't scored in this one yet either. 8.34 still to go in the half. Yeah, I think he will. Missed that one. Loose ball. Goes out of bounds off the rim. So he would look really off on those free throws. And typically he makes his free throws, or at least give you, you know, one of the two. Go, It'll be Spartans ball from in front of their own bench. Successfully inbound it. Double up on defense in the backcourt. They get it away. Long lead pass down underneath. And as Yuri Sadibi, uh, Sadibe rather, goes up for a layup, he gets fouled. Yeah, both teams showing a little full court pressure here. Uh, that time, Norfolk State was able to get beyond the first wave of it and look ahead. Well, a young man was um, had an opportunity to convert and was fouled. Pinky Wally fouled him in the act. 
Sadibe, 15 of 20 at the line coming into today at 75%. Sadibe, shot missing. The native, he, he comes from Senegal. And against Delaware State on February 8th, he scored two points in that game. Fahim Janetto comes back in as Trey Ghost goes out. Ghost is doing a good job of just kind of using this, uh, you know, using this bench here, keep his keep his main guys fresh. Sadibe's second shot missed. Hornets grab the rebound. They send it to Crosby. Crosby inside the arc and a jumper for two. His first basket of the day. He gets hot. Things can change. 22, 18, 8, 10 left in the half. A bishop on the right side runs into Janetto. Janetto guarding. They'll send it cross court in front of the Hornets bench. In the corner, Bishop giving it off to Caligarius. Still trying to move forward. And they're going to get uh, Devonte Carter for turning it over. And a timeout here with 7.53 left in the first half. Hornets trail by four. This is Delaware State University basketball on HSR and the voice of HBCU Sports. Ball with 7.53 left in the half. Gary Lang, Coach John Hill at Memorial Hall. Final home game of the season for Delaware State. They'd like to end it on a winning note here. Here's Crosby into the foul circle. Spin move, jumper just off the front of the rim. Grabbed by Devontae Carter. Carter puts it up and in. Carter with 10 now. 24-18. Now back to Crosby. Crosby sends it out to Janetto, left side to Green. Back out to Wiley on the left side. Wiley just right of the mark. Carter grabs it for Norfolk State. Devontae Carter sends it off to Joe Bryant. Bryant's three-point try misses. Janetto gets it. He gives it off to Pinky Wiley. Wiley back to Janetto, now down left side to Omari Pete Green. He goes into the foul circle, sends it all the way out to Crosby. Crosby sends it hard off the back of the rim. The ball goes out of bounds. It will be Hornets ball with 6.52 remaining in the half. And the shot clock resets to 20 seconds. Green on the inbound to Wiley. Wiley to Crosby. Crosby left side, thought about three, decided not to send it into Bennett, now back out to Crosby. He'll work inside, out to Wiley. Wiley with a quick jumper for three, off the back of the rim, couldn't get it to go. Comes out to Jermaine Bishop. Norfolk State, Bishop sends it to Bryant, back to Bishop. He goes to the right side. Works back around top of the key, sends it out to Caligarius. 
Calajarius from outside for three. Big shot. I don't think they knew he could make the three. Big guy's not supposed to shoot the threes, is he? Calajarius at 6'10", 230 pounds. Need a basket here. 27-18, Hornets trail by nine. Crosby sends it out to Bennett. Bennett left side of the lane. Short jumper off the back of the rim won't go. They're snake bit. Everything is hitting off the back of the rim. Bishop now for three. Hits, rolls around, and drops in. Like double dribbled on that on that pickup when he first got the rebound. Not called. 30 to 18, a 12-point difference. Norfolk State starting to pull away here, and Hornets just can't allow that. Can't afford that. No, not at all. They need to get some points here and some turnovers to uh, get back in. Here's Omari Pete Green for three. Air ball over top of it all. Goes down to Calajarius. He passes it off to Bryant. Bryant sends it inside, and the Hornets take it away. Janetto on the steal. Janetto, Crosby, spin move. Wiley right side. Steps inside the arc, shoots, and it's good for two. They got him for two there. Three That's a good shot, though. It needed a basket. 30 to 20. Three field goals for Pinky Wiley today. Two from outside the arc. That one is first from two-point range. 450 remaining in the half. Calajarius feeds down on the corner to Bryant. Bryant brings it out to Bishop. Bishop on the left side, penetrating through a couple of players. Got away with a little bit of a walk there and That's still tough, came away yeah. with a basket. Yeah, Bishop is having his way with this. Like uh, as he came through and got hung up a little bit, though, he walked with the ball. Now Janetto wants three, and he gives it to him. He got the ball to go through the basket, give him the, the, the three, make it 32-23. 4-10 left in the half. Hornets down by nine, trying to chip away at that lead now. They'll give it to Bishop. He goes to the basket, gets a basket, and he'll go to the foul line. Amari Pete Green, that's his first. That's the seventh team foul here in the first half. Yeah, Norfolk is just doing an outstanding job here in the half court set, running there, running and executing their half court offense versus man to man. And um, at this point, the defensive intensity and you know just hasn't been there for the Hornets. They have to pick it up so they can start getting some stops here before they allow this game to kind of create too much separation. Jermaine Bishop at the line, he's sixth in the conference in scoring. And until then, shooting 86.8% from the line, but missed the shot on a one and one. There's Miles Carter trying to go through the defense. Got the shot off, but it came up short. Norfolk State immediately grabbed the ball. Calajarius over to Chavis. Chavis to Sadibi. Sadibi, rather. And now we have a Hornet foul. Yeah, you got a, got a hold there on Miles Carter. His second, and we'll get the timeout here with 342 left in the first half. Norfolk State 34, Delaware State 23. More on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports.
Alonze Chavis hitting his first shot. Makes it 35-23. Chavis makes the first. And the second one drops in also. 36-23. It's a 13-point game. Hornets bring it on down. They get it off to Leroy Moore. He goes up with a jumper and he gets fouled. Looks like it'll be. Sidibe. That's 16 fouls. Sending Leroy Moore to the line for the Hornets. Hasn't had many chances to shoot foul shots. Six of 17 on the season. That's about 35%. Played against Norfolk State back on February 8th. Didn't score in that game down in Norfolk, but he has scored here now as he made that first shot go in. That's his third point of the day. He got them both. Jerome Moore hitting both from the line. 36-25 now the score. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Bryant wearing number four, guarded by Wiley wearing number four. Over to Hicks, now into Calajarius. Bishop from the top of the arc, got it for three. 39-25, 14 point difference in the game. Crosby goes inside, gets tied up, kicks it out to Bennett. Now out to Moore and back to Crosby on the right side. Crosby jumper. Got it. They're going to give him two on it. John Crosby for two. Much needed basket. A good shot there by Crosby. 39-27. Hornets with two minutes and 45 seconds left in the half. Want to try to take that lead down to at least single digits before halftime. There's a shot from outside missing by Bishop. Came out to Crosby for Delaware State. He goes inside traffic, underhanded shot, goes up and in. 39-29. Crosby unfazed by the defenders he had to go between. Yeah, he gets going, which is what they really need to happen. Calajarius on the left side with Chavis. Chavis gets it off to Hicks. Hit shot, misses, comes off the backboard. Wiley to Crosby on the right side. Ginetto works inside against Calajarius. Tried to hit it off the glass, just a little too strong. Norfolk State will control it. It's Bishop to bring it down. Moore forcing there, and Norfolk State grabbing that timeout. Well, if you're having... for Norfolk State, and it's taken away. He tried to pass, Trey Gross stole it. And Ron Lucas takes it down with a dunk. Trey Gross, more used to being victimized by interceptions than to making an interception, but a good play by Delaware State to make it 39-31. Here's Hicks with the ball on the left side. Sends it along the baseline to Devontae Carter. He almost lost it. Now they come at right side. Bryant by himself. Shoots for three. Nope, won't go. And a whistle. That's a good stop by the Hornets there. 
Great stop. Shot clock ran out on him. A minute and eight left in the half. And Hornets have cut the deficit to a single digit here. Ron Lucas. Trey Gross go out here for the last minute and uh, eight ticks. Amir Bennett back in. John Crosby back in as well. Pass down to Wiley. Wiley slipped as he uh, let that ball go. Shooting for three. Went down. Well, the reason he slipped was because he got fouled. Sean Hicks fouled him. And that's the seventh team foul. It's going to send Pinky Wiley to the line. And he uh, is a 75% foul shooter on the season. Pinky Wiley in, in the top 10 in a number of categories in the MEAC. Tenth in the MEAC in steals. Uh, last year he led the conference with 64 steals. Now some uh, question on substitutions the Hornets were trying to make. They tried to make it before the foul shot, and they can't do that. They have to wait. So Wiley goes back to the line to shoot. 57.3 seconds left in the first half here. Hornets trying to close the gap a bit more. And Wiley leading the scoring for Delaware State. And get himself in the double figures with this shot here as he makes the first. And he'll stand there all day and shoot him. 39-33. Now it's a six-point game. Pinky Wiley with 10 points on the game. Since he was fouled shooting from outside the arc, he'll shoot a third foul shot. It's a good finish here to the half, too. Yeah. Wiley goes three for three on the good trip from the, at the line. 39-34. Five-point difference. Devonte Carter, left side, bringing it toward the middle. Guarded by Crosby. He works around left side. Short jumper, got it. Some bodies banging inside there. The officials let it go. 41-34. Wiley down in the left corner. Moore, baseline, comes up. Ball went over top of the back the rim, but uh, he got fouled while he was up there. Looks like it'll be Joe Bryant picking up his first personal foul. It's 27 seconds left in the half. And Leroy Moore goes back to the foul line. Picked up a couple there earlier and could add to his sum here in the first half. So Moore at the line. Moore's first shot hits off the rim. <laughs> Went two for two last time. Yeah. They'll take one for two right now, though. It's still closing in on this deficit, so yeah. definitely take one for two. It was double digits there. They've cut it down. And it is now a six-point difference as he makes the second shot go. 41-35, Moore with five points now in the game. 20 seconds left in the half. Hornets setting up the defense. Carter sends it out to Bishop. Bishop goes to Bryant. Back to Bishop on the left side. Crosses to the right. Now, Bishop for three. Missing. Ball touched last by Ronald Lucas. It goes out of bounds with 1.8 seconds left in the half. Right underneath the Hornets' backboard. Great position here for a quick inbound and shot for Norfolk State. Spartans get it into Bishop. Bishop turn around, shot deflected, and the buzzer runs out. They'll go to the locker room with Norfolk State leading by just six, 41-35 over Delaware State. This is Delaware State University basketball on HSRN. We are the voice of HBCU Sports.
first half really belonged to Delaware State. They came on extremely well. See what they can do here in the final 20. The image is in the building for sure. Norfolk State has the ball to start the second half. They work it around Carter. Right. Had a three foot layup and it went three and a half, two and a half feet. Jumper from the th left side for Joe Bryant for three. Yeah, Bryant and Bishop is pretty. Back to a nine point lead for Norfolk State. Now the ball knocked out of bounds. They're gonna say touch last by Fahim Janetto. Looked like it could have been touched by both players simultaneously. And it was right in front of us, so we had as good a view of it as, as the referee on it. But he called it. We'll give the ball to Spirit Ricks on the inbound pass. Wiley and Bennett go first out. Points on tonight? I'm sorry? Bryant's first points on tonight? Yeah. Here's uh, Bryant from down in the corner. Again, he found what a place where he likes it, left corner. And he hits another three to make it 47-35. Six unanswered points by Norfolk State. Long pass into Miles Carter, sends it down right side. Janetto shot missed. Follow up by Trey Gross, misses. He still tries for the loose ball as Norfolk State goes away with it. Pass down to Caligarius. And Caligarius misses. Hornets get it. Crosby drives the paint. Left side, off the glass, won't go. Janetto underneath. Follow up. Will they count the? They will not count the basket, and it's going to be a, an offensive foul on Fahim Janetto. Fahim, so he don't understand. That's why they didn't count the basket. He didn't see where the foul was. I didn't see it either. Did you? No, I didn't. Okay. Glad it wasn't just me. Carter tries to pass it underneath. Does so. They have to clear it back out, though. Jermaine Bishop backs out near the logo at center court. 17.50 left in the game. Here's Joe Bryant now. Not down in that left corner where he shot a couple of threes. He'll go cross court to Spirit Ricks. Ricks with an air ball. I wouldn't have had to say that. The fans in back of us will let you know when they see an air ball <laughs> by the opposition right in front of the student section. Norfolk State showing pressure in the backcourt, dropping back to man-to-man. -man. Sean Crosby goes into the lane, kicks it out to Amari Pete Green, left side. He got it for three. 47-38. Tell when Coach Eric Skeeters is really excited. He'll start bouncing his foot up and down off the floor. He looked like he was trying to take off there. Well, he's always very animated. He's cheering all the time. Uh, sometimes it's not cheers, but he is animated. Hey. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Yep. Bishop, left side to Ricks. Ricks gives it off to Bryant, right side. Bryant kicks it down in front of the bench to Ricks. Ricks goes baseline. His shot blocked. Fahim Janetto comes off with it, gives it to Miles Carter. Carter over on the right side to Pete Green. He'll take a jumper for three. Too strong. Comes down to Trey Gross. His shot is blocked. Norfolk State fast break. Shot from the left side for three. Jermaine Bishop. And he leads the scorers with 21 in the game. 50-38 back to a 12-point lead for the Spartans. Pass from Crosby to Janetto inside. Just a little too hard. Goes out of bounds off of Fahim Janetto. 16-22 left in the game. Crosby will step out for a few moments. And we'll see who just came in for him. I'm not sure who. I would have to know who went out just a moment ago. Could be that Trey Gross went out and then came back in. There's a pass down on the right side to Devontae Carter. Into the paint. Passes it off to Bryant. Bryant left side for three. Nope. And it's going to be Trey Gross on the rebound. He'll kick it out to Pinky Wiley. Wiley is the one who came back in. Sends it to Miles Carter. Right side, Miles Carter. With big shot by Miles Carter. That's his second three on the night. 50 to 41. Carter gets it down to a single-digit lead again. Hornets is playing 
playing zone. Looks like a 3-2 zone here. I like the combination. What happens when Pinky Wiley and Miles Carter are on the floor together? Good things usually. Pass batted away by Omari Pete Green. Goes uh, went out of bounds. It'll be Spartans ball with 15-29 left in the game. Norfolk State 50, Delaware State 41. We'll be back with more Hornets foot basketball here on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. trying to add to their lead here to get it to Bryant. And then we have a whistle. Shot clock violation. They weren't aware of how many point, how much time was left on the shot clock when they inbounded that ball. It happens sometimes. It definitely happens. It works out for the Hornets, though. Usually somebody on that coaching staff during the break will say, remember, we've only got a few seconds here and tell them how many. Layup attempt by Delaware State by Amir Bennett. He got fouled. Kashawn Hicks gets his second personal first team foul here in the half. And Amir Bennett at the line for Delaware State. Only Hornet who has started every game this season. Amazing. Played against Norfolk State on February 8th. Didn't score in that game. But he made that shot, so he has a point today. See if he can make it two, or maybe more. Off the front of the rim, wouldn't go. Calagarius rebounds. Norfolk State comes down. Bryant pulls up, passes it off to Bishop. Go right side to Hicks. Hicks goes inside now, back out to Bishop, top of the key, off the rim. Wiley grabs the loose ball. Miles Carter now pulls up. He wants three more. Give Miles Carter three more. Thank you very much. That's three for three, Jake. 50 to 45. That checked that 44. They only gave him two on it. Six Looked point like deficit. it was three. And now a whistle, and we'll have a foul. Amir Bennett. Picks up his second personal. I tell you what, both coaches are very animated here. Getting after it. Inbounded to Calagarius. Calagarius off to Bishop. Bishop sends it inside and hits. Got running there and forgot to dribble. That's all right. <laughs> we'll take the turnover we'll down by turnover. six. Yeah. Got him for steps there. Hornets trying to cut it to a four-point deficit here on this possession, maybe even three. Pete Green, and they're going to get a blocking foul on Norfolk State as Amari Pete Green went into the lane. Deshaun Hicks was not set, and Amari Pete Green took advantage of it. That freshman, what a that that's a big time. Your favorite is saying that's a big time move by the freshman. 
Oh, ain't no doubt about that. He's trying to make he's trying to make something happen, and you see him making a very aggressive move in, in an effort to drive to the basket. Was able to pick up a, um, a personal foul here. Hopefully, was it in the act of shooting? I don't think so. I don't think so. They don't call it on the floor. Amari Peak Green, the freshman, fifth in the conference in three-point field goal percentage. What an asset he's going to be to this team over the next three years. Now Crosby from the corner for three. Rolls around, won't go in. Bennett underneath on the rebound. Shot wouldn't go, deflected. Comes back out. Crosby gets it again. Underneath, Ron Lucas worked through traffic to get a bucket. That's a good play by Ron Lucas. Nice pass there by John Crosby. 50 to 46, 14 minutes left. Bishop right side. Corner showing a little pressure themselves on the 3 2. Looks Extended inside. Extended it toward half court. Calajari is top of the key to Bishop at the foul line. Jumper missed. Lucas rebounds. Crosby brings it down. Right side. Cross court to Wiley. Wiley short pass inside to Lucas. Now back out to Wiley in front of the bench. Looks up, thinks about three, says no. The ones underneath to Bennett. And Bennett gets fouled on his layup attempt by Caligarius. A great pass there by Pinky Wilder. Yeah. Coming off the ball screen. Threading the needle, getting the ball to Amir Bennett. And he gets he gets fouled in the act. An example of why Pinky Wiley is fifth in the MEAC in assists and fifth in the assists turnover ratio. Fox State with 13-17 left in the game. Four point difference, Norfolk State leading 50 to 46. This is Delaware State University basketball on HSRN, the voice of HBCU sports. Will be Norfolk State ball with 20 seconds on the shot clock. I'm sure this time they looked. Devontae Carter. Your coach Skeeter changed defenses out of the timeout of 1 3 1 here. Ron Lucas on the defense. Down in the left corner, Jermaine Bishop rattles around the rim, won't fall in for the three. Amir Bennett grabs it for the Hornets, gets it off to Crosby. Crosby down the left side. Crosby turns around, spin move, gives it off to Wiley in front of the bench. Wiley will pull it down, dribble out. Now move toward the center, looking over his offense. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Miles Carter comes out to help. Gets it inside to Amir Bennett. Try to bounce pass inside. And when they did, we had a foul. This one's going to be a loose ball foul. And I think that well, Devontae Carter. Devontae Carter, his second. Just waiting to see who it was going to be on. I couldn't quite tell. The reaction you heard from the crowd, Miles Carter, had flashed through, grabbed the loose ball. If they hadn't blown a whistle, he would have been called for traveling, but he threw it up and it went in, but it didn't count. Now they get it into Carter with full 20 seconds on the shot clock. Go into Bennett. Bennett underneath. Ron Lucas snuck in behind and was in position 50 to 48. That's a nice high-low look there. 
from Amar Bennett to um, Toronto Lucas, extending this 1-3-1 one, one defense here. You know, 1-3-1 one, one is always vulnerable in the corners, but Nova State has hit a cold streak here. They haven't been able to make a shot. 12-10 to go in the game. Bishop in traffic, sends it left side corner. Chavez got three. 53-48, back to a five-point lead for the Spartans. Now Miles Carter in front of the bench, looking, looking, sends it up back out to Wiley. Couldn't uh, take his defender off in time to, or in a way that he could have gotten a three-point shot. There's a shot by Crosby, missed badly on the left side. Lead pass down to Caligarius, and he got it. 55-48, and now it's back to a seven-point lead again. The Hornets got to be careful to make sure they don't allow this, this um, deficit to balloon on them. Yeah, they got it down to two and just couldn't pull it out or take the lead. We had a bunch of lead changes in the first half. Here's Miles Carter pulling up with a, about a 10-foot jumper and hits it into 10 points on the game. Well, Miles Carter's solid, man. He gives you a solid contribution every night. 55-50, 11-10 on the clock. Lucas guarding Carter, Devontae Carter. Followed him all the way in, but Devontae Carter with a fadeaway jumper hitting it, 57-50. Now Crosby takes it in, left-handed hook shot. What a show. That's what he does, man. He gets to the rim and finishes. Very crafty. 57-52, went through traffic, went up in front of the roof. Put the left-handed hook shot up and in. Corners back to uh, half court man to man now. That's Bishop on the left side, guarded by Miles Carter. Bishop works around to the middle. Drives into the left side of the foul circle. Bounce pass down underneath. Shot by uh, Caligarius, missing. And a foul called. Waiting to see who this one will be on. Ronald Lucas, his second. Third team foul here, comes with 10.23 left in the game. And we'll have a timeout here with 10.23 left. Five point difference, Norfolk State leads 57-52. This is Delaware State University basketball on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. At the line, hitting the first shot. And he drops the second one in, giving him seven on the game, making it 59-52, back to a seven-point lead for the Spartans. Hornets trying to chip away at it, but the Spartans won't miss their shots. They're not cooperating. Trey Gross over to Pinky Wiley on the left side. Now Crosby moves over to the left, but Wiley goes to Miles Carter on the right. Now back to Wiley and over to Crosby in front of the bench. He moves forward, and as he does, he draws a foul. Smart foul number 11, Jermaine Bishop. His first 
Jermaine Bishop, his first personal foul, and that is the fifth team foul. Hornets close to being in the bonus here. Yeah, no, for those two fouls from putting them in the bonus. Crosby to inbound. All the way in to Carter. And as Carter went up for it, the ball was tipped. And I'm not sure what they called there. Well, he threw it long. I don't know if he just put too much air on it, but uh, Miles caught on this handle and it went out of bounds off the, uh, off the horse. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I, they were so close to the line, I couldn't tell that. There's Jermaine. Uh, check that. Uh, Devontae Carter inside. And they're going to call. Give the ball to the Hornets on a missed shot by uh, Norfolk State. Yeah, I think they're saying that the ball hit the top. Hit the top. Went up and hit the top of the backboard. Yeah. So the Hornets, uh, pressure. no harm even though no foul. Crosby pass across court in the backcourt to Wiley. Wiley will bring it down to the right side. Amari Peak Green in the right corner. Sends it out Wiley. They close on him quickly because they know he can shoot the three. Crosby penetrates inside to Pete Green. To Wiley for three. Swish. That's a good shot there by Pinky Wiley. 59. And great 55. ball movement. Hornets within four. Great ball movement, I'm telling you. Yeah, that was good passing around and, and drew the defenders away from Wiley so he could shoot that three. Here's Bishop, top of the key for three. Off the rim, won't go. Down into the hands of Trey Gross. Less than nine minutes left in the game. Crosby through traffic. Out to Gross, top of the key. Crosby comes out. And Gross gives it to him. He shoots in and out to Chris Ford on the rebound for Norfolk State. Carter from just inside the arc. Off the rim, goes up, hits the top of the backboard. It will be Hornets ball with 8.39 left in the game. Hey, they're still in the game here, man. They have a four-point deficit. You know, you got 8.39 to go in. You're in a good position. Just got to find a way now just to kind of continue to chip away at this lead here. Get a good shot here. Miles Carter back in as John Crosby gets a breather. Wiley in the backcourt. Sends it on up to Miles Carter. Carter goes around defenders. Spin move. Gets it back to Wiley. Looks for three. Off the rim. Won't go. Inside. Underneath. Missed. But a follow-up by Pinky Wiley. Trey Gross tried the follow-up. Couldn't get it to go. Pinky Wiley flashed in there to the loose ball and makes it 59-57. Back go. within two. Yeah, the Hornets are very gritty right here. They're fighting for everything. Getting offensive rebounds, kind of getting it the hard way, but making it happen nonetheless. Wiley leading the Hornets, scoring with 15 now. Here's Bishop backing up on the right side. Under eight minutes to go. Carter left side. They'll go to Chavez. He'll go baseline. Send it over to the right corner. And a three for Joe Bryant. 62 to 57. Back to that five point lead for Norfolk State. Hornets get within two and just can't break it over. Wiley now draws double coverage. Sends it over to Carter. Omari Peak Green in the corner, out to Carter on the right. Carter, they'll come out and double up on him. Left Trey Gross open. Wiley wide open, left side. Off the back of the room, it won't fall. Devontae Carter grabbed it, headed down, lost it. Loose ball picked up by Chris Ford to save it for Norfolk State. They're going to slow it down and regroup here. They were running too much even for themselves. Yeah, they're getting after it, though. They're real scrappy getting after loose balls. Joe Bryant, top of the key, missed. That's good rebound by the big fella. Chris Sodom, the seven-foot three giant for Delaware State. Miles Carter just hit a three and was fouled in the act of shooting. Will go to the line at the top of the key. 62 to 60. And it'll be Devontae Carter called for his third of the game. And a timeout with 6.39 left in the basketball game. It's a two-point difference again. 62 to 60. Did this they call a technical Delaware's foul there? 
Uh, we'll have to find out when we come back. This Delaware State University basketball on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. Completes the four-point play. Makes it a one-point game, 62 to 61. Carter hit a three just before the break. He gives him 14 points on tonight. And uh, when he hit the three, he was fouled in the act of shooting, so he went to the line to complete it. Here's Chavis from the right, uh, left side. Missing. Getting in there for the rebound. Trey Gross, he'll take it down. Lost the handle on the way in, but will have a blocking foul called. And that's why he lost the handle on it. Trey Gross pretty short-handed if you've watched him on the football field. Jermaine Bishop gets his second personal foul. If you've watched Trey Gross on the football field, you know he's a short-handed guy. He looked and like a receiver right there when he chased that ball down. Yeah, but uh, as he went up for it, the ball slipped out of his hands. Well, we know why now. Jermaine Bishop committing the foul. Trey Gross is shot off the mark, hits off the front of the rim. Yeah, he He's only hit 46% from the line on the season. He looked a bit uncomfortable with it. <laughs> yeah. But in the football season, third on the team and receiving 23 catches for 339 yards. Missed the second ah. shot as well. Needed. Needed those two, could have gotten a lead. Gross will guard Bishop on the way down. He gets it over to Bryant, left side. Now back to Bishop. Bishop on the right side. They'll double up on him. They'll pass down inside underneath to Chris Ford. Ford will send it over to Joe Bryant Jr. Ten seconds on the shot clock. They tied him up. He got away with it. Then sent it over to Daryl Anderson. Anderson with three. That's tough there. That's a huge three at that moment when you're just one point down. Yeah, 65-61. Back to that four-point difference. Wiley. Sets his offense and calls the play. Rolls left side, dribbling left-handed. Now turns around, gets it out to Gross, top of the key. They go to Crosby on the right side. He tries to dribble inside, turn around on the baseline, jumper misses. Ford gets it off the rim. 5.20 left to go. Bishop brings it down slowly for Norfolk State. Guarded by Miles Carter. Now gives it off to Hicks. Ricks, rather. Ricks tries to go inside. Knocked away from behind by Trey Gross. Pinky Wiley gets it to Crosby for three. <laughs> 65 64 and a timeout with 4.58 left here. And we're going to stay right here. You're That's having a, a celebration. Maybe
score. But more importantly, defensive stops is what you're looking for. Don't forget the Hornets' regular season ends on Thursday. 5.30 will start it off from the nation's capital as Delaware State's women and men go over there to play the season regular season finale against Howard. And then next week from Norfolk, it's the MEAC tournament. Hornets look like they're going to stay with their 1-3-1 defense. Bryant near center court at the logo, guarded by Gross. Gross painting himself on like a second skin. They get it over to Bishop. Bishop sends it back to Bryant, down in the corner now. Jumper for three, missing, comes out to Crosby on the missed shot by Daryl Anderson. Again, I said the corners would be open. Right now, you gotta go, you gotta try to get to your best player, John Crosby. He has a cross-court pass from Peaky Wiley. Off the rim, the won't go. Wiley goes in and grabs the loose ball. Back to Crosby. Crosby, again, off the rim. Raheem Gennetto couldn't control the ball, and Norfolk State got it. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting scenario that they play uh, John Crosby off the ball and allow Peaky Wilder to create for him. On that uh, rebound, I thought Wiley would go for it to tie. Bryant guarded by Gross. Bryant now down on the right side. Bishop, That's and tough. Bishop hits for three. Well, you're coming down the last 340, so four. Uh, Crosby has the ball. You know he's got to try to make a play because they typically leaned on him pretty heavily. 68-64. Gennetto top of the key. Off the back of the rim. Grabbed by Chris Ford for Norfolk State. Tough three. He's been sitting for quite some time to come in. Still pretty cold. Three and a half to go. It's Bryant now on the left side. Sends it across to Bishop to the right side. And Norfolk's going to take the top half of the shot clock off. They just play, burning some time. They play keep away with John Crosby back and forth between them. Bishop works back around to Bryant. Bryant goes inside. Three seconds on the shot clock. They send it out. One second just before the buzzer. It never hit the rim. A shot clock violation by Norfolk State. Stopping the clock with 3.05 left, and the Hornets will get it. Still in a good place here. Still in a good place. Five-point deficit is important. Coach Keita takes a timeout. And this is the final media timeout of the game. It's Norfolk State 68, Delaware State 63. Back with more on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. Tied for the scoring lead, the two guards, Pinky Wiley and Miles Carter, with 16 each. Leading scorer in the game, Jermaine Bishop, who has 24. Where yeah, this is a pretty different situation than what we've seen, you know, for the most part of the season here. You got Pinky Wiley playing the point and John Crosby playing off the ball. So it looks like they're going to run something here, I'm sure, to try to get him an opportunity. Yeah, the playmakers out there, Miles Crosby also on the floor. Crosby working around defenders, steps in. Jumper missing. And a whistle. Oh, the Hornets ran. ball knocked out of bounds by Norfolk State. 15 seconds remaining on the shot clock for Delaware State. Hey, they ran that. <laughs> for whatever reason, they should be looking to get to the basket, but they ran that last play for Miles Carter. And um, 
thinking that he's probably one of their better athletes with an opportunity to get to the basket. Carter looking for three on a jumper. Miles Carter. Got it. That gives him 19 on the night. They ran that last play for him, so obviously they feel real comfortable with it. 68 66. Yeah, maybe that's why they didn't drive inside. They've got the playmakers on the floor right now Carter and Wiley and Crosby. Janetto also out there, along with Ron Lucas for the defense. There's a three point shot by Joe Bryant. It misses. Wiley beats everybody to the ball for the rebound. Crosby on the fast break. To Miles Carter in the paint. Shot right-handed, layup off the mark. Really didn't have a good shot as they closed tough. the gap on him. Yeah, that was tough there. I think kind of got overzealous there, tried to do too much. Yeah, and they closed it in on him. He didn't have a lane anymore. It's critical now. You're down to the last 150 in the game. It's Jermaine, a big possession here. Jermaine Bishop in a two-point game from the right corner for three. Wow. Daryl Anderson. And with the kiss off the glass from the corner. 71, 66. Wiley from down in the corner for three, missing. Comes down to Bryant. Down to a minute and 25 to go. They tried Anderson back again in that corner, but they closed it up on him. Now Carter, Crosby just about painting himself on. Carter through the lane, passes it off. Battle for the ball underneath. Fahim Gennetto. We have a jump ball. Hornets ball with a minute and 10 left. All right, you got a two-possession game here with a minute and 10 to go. And um, you, right now, you just need a bucket. You can take the two or the three. But, and, I mean, throughout the season, the guy you've leaned it on most often has been John Crosby. But tonight, Miles Carter's got it going. So I don't see no reason why you shouldn't go, that you should go away from him. Crosby's playing off the ball where in most cases he's had the ball in his hand. So let's see what we run. Last time they ran an Iverson cut um, for Carter to see if he can make something happen. Ron Lucas just checked out as Amir Bennett came back in. Here comes the Iverson cut again. Wiley, one minute left. Inside to Bennett, he lost it. Got stripped. Down to Calajarius on big. the fast break and he got two. That's a huge play there. Need a bucket in the timeout. 73-66. And another loss down the other end. Hornets lose it. Goes out of bounds, and they'll say the Hornets touched it last. With 44 seconds left, now it's a seven-point lead for Norfolk State. Yeah, Coach Skeet is beginning to substitute offense-defense, putting in a couple of guys more on growth here for defense. Let's see who's coming out. Um... Oh, okay, it's going to be a timeout. Just a, a short timeout here with 44.1 seconds. I think Nova State probably took that one. Yeah. So both teams will go to the benches for this timeout. A reminder, next week we'll be in Norfolk for the MEAC tournament. And here on HSRN, we will be covering Delaware State, Morgan State, and I'm told Howard University from the tournament. So what we want you to do is every day check out the HSRN Facebook page, and we'll be posting on there what games you'll be able to watch that day and what time, who's involved. Should be an interesting tournament. I tell you, this Hornets team here, very interesting bunch, man. They're in every single game, and, you know, the kind of the, the theme of the season has been they just really haven't done an outstanding job of closing games. Yeah. But they're in every game, so, you know, tournament play brings a lot of, <laughs> a lot of mystery. So, you know, be good to see this team go in, go into the tournament, and maybe and maybe get them a, sneak them a win, and who knows what can happen on the second night. How many times have we seen this season, though, Delaware State get closer, get closer, get closer, just not able to catch up? It's like a bicycle race, and the guy wearing the yellow jacket just keeps that, that bicycle length ahead, and they keep winning. Yeah, finish is the word. You know, they yeah. just had a difficult time finishing. You know, they make enough plays. Seem like the mini games seem like the game is going to get away, but they always find a way to fight back and make it a contest. Right now you got 44.1, and they're going to try to probably get a trap here, if not a quick foul. Got a trap? Yep. They got Anderson down in the corner, and then we'll have a foul. They call it a quick foul. Call it on Leroy Moore. Well, they had the trap in a perfect place right there in the corner. You're seeing, you're seeing some of the fans leave the, the game here, and I always wonder about that. 43 seconds left. 
It's a uh, seven-point difference, but where are they going to go? It's not like they have to beat traffic off of campus. They're going right back to their dorms. <laughs> yeah, you got to have a little hope and faith here, buddy. Trout. Now they inbound it to Bryant. Two. Bryant took the pass and traveled. Turnover turn to Hornets. You got a turnover here. No time off the clock. So now you take you take a quick two or three, whichever presents itself first, but you just need a basket quickly. How many timeouts do we have? Do we have any timeouts? Two. Got two timeouts, and you got some timeouts to play with. Um, but more importantly, you just need a basket right here. Think back to Miles Carter getting fouled on that three-point shot and making it a four-point play. They'll inbound it to Crosby. Crosby from the corner for three. He got it. 73-69. And a whistle down at the other end. I tell yeah, you, Hornet they, foul. They were, able to, they were able to get the ball out of bounds and inbounds quickly enough before the Hornets could set their defense up. And um, young man pretty much had a breakaway layup. Uh, and Fahim Janetto was able to commit the personal foul to at least get him to take it out of bounds on the side. Quick Gen trap is what you're looking for. If not, then a foul. Janetto goes out. Trey Gross comes in for the defense. And the Hornets tie it up. They're going to call one on Peaky Wiley. Got just a little bit too close. When you can't tell which arm's coming out of that uniform, it means the defender's too close. Yeah, you got one more foul before you're in the one-on-one -one situation here. Again, you want a good, you want a, want a trap, and if you can't get the trap, take a quick foul. 31 seconds left, and again, a quick whistle as we come back in. Well, I don't know if you want to foul Bishop, though. Moore gets his third. Yeah, Jermaine Bishop to go to the line here. 0 for 1 from the charity stripe today, though he has 24 points. Yeah, well, he was red hot the first half. Yeah, the second half, he's kind of, until that last three, yeah. probably about a minute and a half ago, he well, really hadn't done much, so who knows? He may slip up and miss one here. From three-point range, Bishop 6 of 12 on the day. And the first foul shot and that he hits goes. off he the back of the rim, misses it. Hornets will grab it. Get to the basket. Crosby to bring it down, drive into the paint. Get to the basket. Send it out. Miles Carter wants three. Shoots. He got it. 73-72, and a timeout called. That's a big shot, man. That's a big shot. You got a two-point game. 21.1 seconds is plenty enough time. Unfortunately, you're in a situation where you don't have enough time to run one shot clock off. So you're still going to have to probably set a trap, and you may even can set two, but I wouldn't risk it. I would set one trap, and if I, and if I don't get the steal, I commit a quick foul. I and thought I thought that was a three-point shot. They only I, gave him two. I did two. I thought it was a three. I thought it was three point as well. But what you're looking at right here, strategically, you got to try to make sure that um, that you foul someone who possibly can go up there and, and, and miss for you. Bishop, they feel really comfortable with. He went up there and missed. Who knows? And maybe somebody want to give another opportunity to shoot. But you definitely need someone to miss. And and even if they make one of them, it's still a one possession game. Yeah. So if they make one, miss one, three point play, um, three point deficit and you got plenty enough time to get up the floor and, uh, and run something to score a three-pointer. 73-71 with 21 seconds to go. Devontae Carter wants to send it in. Hornets playing tight defense back there. Devontae Carter had to use a timeout before he lost the ball. Yeah. Spartans have to take a timeout there. I think, I think Joe Bryant wanted to be super careful, take no chances and throwing it away. Not under the other team's backboard where, you know, you get it and all of a sudden you shoot and we have a tie game. But I would definitely apply about the Hornets should continue to apply the same pressure. Sometimes you got to kind of hold and pull and grab a little bit. Uh, at this point in time, you maybe get away with a little more than normal because <laughs> the officials maybe. probably don't want to really call a foul. They will, but they don't truly want to call a, you know, a, a, a real touchy one. So you may get away with a little more, but they definitely need to continue that aggressive play. And, and try to deny the ball coming in. And when it does come in, get you a quick trap. If it gets out of there, you got a foul right away. But there's plenty of time. 21.1 seconds, you can get a foul. And you got more than enough time to come up the floor and take whatever is valid, whether it be a, a, a quick two or another look at a three. But Miles Carter has been just <coughs> huge, man. He's been the difference. He's actually stepped up and made two threes here in the last, well, within this last minute. Goodness, probably like the last 20, 25 seconds 
that has made a difference in the game and them having an the opportunity um, to play for a win. Miles Carter had scored his career high 19 against UMES on Saturday. He's got a new career high. He has 21 here today. His counterpart, Devontae Carter, on the Spartans team, about to inbound the ball. Looking, short pass in. Got the trap. Almost took it away. Got it into Joe Bryant. They slapped it away, but it went out of bounds. Good hustle by the Hornets. I'll tell you what, the Hornets is giving them a lot of trouble. Did he call a foul? Oh, he's going to the monitor, it looks as if. Just to make to see, sure. To see who might have touched it last. That's right. Hornets reacted as if Norfolk State did. We're down to 19.4 seconds Going still. to the monitor. Boy, if they give the ball to the Hornets here, what a break that would be. And it's not a lucky break. That's, you know, luck is a combination of opportunity <laughs> and preparedness. And they were ready to take that ball on the inbound. Well, you just want to get it right at this point in the game. You know, it's been a really good game. You know, both teams got a quite a bit riding. And as I said before, the MEAC seeding has everything to do with where teams are. Um, you know, these last few games will have a lot to do with whether you move up or down in the, in the MEAC seedings for the tournament. So The officials looked at it, and they're satisfied they got it right the first time. Okay. So well, it'll be inbounded again by Norfolk State. Still in a good place, though. We're 19, we're 19.4. And um, we got a chance just to get a trap Spartans and a foul. Going, Spartans are going to go for the long inbound pass. All the Norfolk State players, the other four, are down behind on the other side of the center court line in the back court, or the forecourt rather. Now Caligarius will move on up. And Trey Gross will cover him. The other three. I'm not understanding. They don't have nobody all the way back. What, what's going on? The Hornets got to put somebody all the way back. You got three guys at half court, and everybody else is in the back court. If two of those guys go in the back court, there's no way. See what they're doing. Now they're they're waiting, and, and what they saw was that Norfolk State would rush in there and uh, take the ball on a short pass. That's they good, did. That's a good point. Keonze Chavez, Leroy Moore committed the immediate foul. Well, you know, it's a lot of pressure right here. You got to be built for the moment. And one thing about it, you know, Chavis, we don't know. You know, he's a young man from Norfolk State, and he definitely looks like he, you know, He's up to the challenge, but um, you never four. really know until you until you face with these situations. Four for four at the line here today, the junior. Well, I'll tell you the oh, difference. It's going to be Brian at the line. No, Chavez. Chavez, let me tell you what the difference is. It's 18.1, and the game is on the line. That's the difference. Let's see if he can go. And it's a one-on-one -one situation. And he doesn't have a home crowd that will be quiet where he can concentrate. Shot goes in. Hey, ice cold water running through his veins. He knocks it down. 74-71. If he makes this one, it'll be very difficult for the Hornets. Well, you just got to push and get a quick two. Got to push and get a quick two. Hornets want to make a substitution here. Amari Pete Green comes back in. Leroy Moore goes out. If he misses a shot, it's a one-possession game. But if he makes it, you still got plenty of enough time to get up the floor and take a quick two. He made it. Get it up the floor. Let's go push. 75-71. It doesn't have to be a three. Crosby quickly over to Carter. Throw off his away. hand. Throw it away. Chavis on the dunk. 77-71. Seven seconds left. Crosby layup is good. Hornets call a timeout, but down by four with 4.4 seconds left. Yeah, he missed the window. You know, you got a four-point lead here with 4.4. Something really strange has got to happen. Yeah, and, and it comes down to almost stealing an inbound pass, shooting a three, hitting it, and getting fouled, as Miles Carter was earlier, and then making that shot to tie. Yeah, it was okay with, the, uh, with, with Chavis making that, those two free throws because it made a four-point deficit. But you really critical that you get a, 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 a two-point field goal. If you had the three, you take it. But a two-point field goal was necessary. So that way you could probably give another opportunity to foul someone and see if you can get somebody to miss. Um, but with that being said, um, the, Hornet, um, the Hornets came up. And in trying to reverse the ball, they got picked off uh, by Norfolk State. So now you're looking at a four-point deficit with 4.4 seconds remaining. And um, 
pretty close to the improbable, but hey, let's see what happens. How many games this year have come right down to the wire for Delaware State? Calajarius takes the inbound pass, and he'll get fouled. It'll stop the clock with 1.3 seconds left. Yeah, they need to put a little more time back on the clock because I think it can kind of continue to run after the foul was committed. I don't think it's going to make much difference, and they're not going to ask for it. Yeah, probably not, but I think the officials are probably correct. Yeah, they put 2.2 on. Okay. Calajarius at the line. <laughs> His first trip to the foul line today on the season, 56% from there. Back on February 8th, he only had two points against Delaware State, this native of Greece. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a sad story because, you know, the Hornets have just played extraordinary, man, here from about mid-season down through the back of the season here. Um, but the thing that has been their Achilles heel is just finishing, finding a way to finish. Yep, Calagari is hitting both from the line to make it 79-73. Hornets will just dribble it on down and run out the clock here. They get it to Crosby. He didn't even pick it up until it got down in front of the bench. Then shot. Time out there. Time runs out as the Hornets drop this one by 6, 79 to 73. But they put a scare in the Norfolk State today. There's no doubt about that. They gave them everything that they wanted. And I don't think early on that Norfolk thought it was going to be much of a game. But the Hornets definitely fought. It was very gritty and made a, a really interesting game out of it today. So we have uh, head coach Eric Skeeters coming over here. And again, you can see the frustration. So close, so very close to uh, pulling another one out here. But uh, tough break again today for Delaware State as uh, came close within two points and then just couldn't finish. Yeah, I get, it's amazing how in March, it brings something out of you, right? Yeah. But it's got to be consistent for 40 minutes. Consistency. Our effort defensively to start the game wasn't there. Right. So now we're coming out of a hole, coming out of a hole, coming out of a hole. And we, go, I mean, we're gutting things out. We're gutting things out. Free throws, start off the game, their best score, you know. You, Matchups. Got to pay attention to the small detail. And then we'll build on those things. Every possession, every point matters. DSU Lowe, our motto is it all matters. It all matters. Credit to them for stake. They're playing first place. And, and it seemed Credit like. Credit to a good team. Yeah, and it seemed like every time you got within two, they, made they big were shots. able to pull away. They made big shots. They knocked them down. Yeah. We missed look. They got, you know, giving their effort to get out there. Got to give credit to them guys that knocked down shots. The guys went on the road and won a game in SEC territory in the postseason last year. That's where we're, that's, how, that's one of my measuring sticks. If, that, if, if that's the bar, we're right there. Yeah, you're right there. Ain't no doubt about that. I saw tonight, man, you um, you showed a great deal of confidence in Miles Carter. I see you come out of the timeout. You needed a, you needed a basket, needed a field goal, and um, you ran on an Iverson cut for him to, you know, to get it, and that was good to see. Tell well, me, how you, is, tell me how, you know, how you feel about his growth. Oh, I mean, it's tremendous. Tremendous. And every day, he gives you his heart. Every stinking day, every play. And it, it, that's why we, it, I like where we're at, regardless of the record. I like where we're at because you make that next step. If that's the best, he's one of the best teams in the league. Anything can happen right. in North in, the, in March. I was just telling, I was just telling um, Gary that uh, you guys are a very scary team because you could get in the tournament and you win one game. And, man, you know, you, so anything take, one, can happen, baby. Time. Anything you take, can happen. You got to take care of business Thursday. Practice tomorrow. Get ready Wednesday. Got to go play on the road one more. Can't skip steps. Yeah. Miles Carter, three games in a row now, he has set a new personal best in scoring. He had 21 today. Uh, he had his previous uh, personal best on Saturday at UMES. And prior to that, Monday night last Benny week Johnson. at Morgan State. Did you say State. Benny Johnson? <laughs> That's what he's given us. Yeah. And – to his credit. Now, on the other side, I told him it's not football. I can't take you out on defense. You got a guard. Do you have a preference in the tournament? No. no take, them, take them as they come. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you know. uh, hey, uh, listen, oh so much God. better today. When you went down to Norfolk State, they beat you by 28. Yeah, how tough this. Yeah. That's what we grew. We grew from that. What a, what a so difference since back. February 8th. I don't know what the largest league was. 
14. Right, so you battled back to a one-point game, two-point game. Mm -hmm. But that's something you've so done all year, though. You, yeah, you've battle. gotten behind, and your kids have always fought, fought and fought and fought and came back. And you just, you know, as, as I said to you before in, in other interviews, is that, you know, you've kind of struggled finishing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get that's to the, the finish line. That's the difference. Yeah, just getting to the finish yeah, line. That's the difference. But go down, go everything down. else looks and good. on that end. Go down to the tournament, have a game like you had on Saturday against UMES, where you got out to the lead, you held on to it, you finished. We got to get Howard. We got to go to Howard first. Yeah. We got to go to Howard first. Okay. We got to go to Howard first. Let's not skip that. We got to go to Howard first. Right. We'll see you there on Went Thursday. We'll be there. We'll be there. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Good job. Thank man. you, Coach Eric Skeeters. And and the positivity just oozes out of that man, doesn't it? Oh boy, let me tell you something. You he's not. He doesn't lack any excitement or confidence. <laughs> you know, no matter what the you know, situation is and. No matter what the results are, because it's been very a very trying season for them. But nonetheless, these kids have played hard, man. He's done a great job of keeping their spirit up, and you know, and making sure that he continues to teach, and for them to continue to believe that you know, on every night, on on any given night, you have an opportunity to win. And uh, if there's something that's impressive, that is the most impressive thing because they play hard. They play hard, and they're in every single game. If they get down by 10 or 15, they never stop playing hard, and they always find themselves back in the game with an opportunity to win down the back stretch. Just be interesting to see if he can figure out how to, you know, how to close the door and finish a couple of these games, in particular, you know, in the tournament. Because if they do, uh, they could be a really scary team and one yeah. that I definitely wouldn't want to play if I had to, you know, <laughs> had to put a team in the tournament. And, and he would chastise me right now and say, don't get ahead of it. we got to take them one at a time. But uh, looking even past. But his seating is not going to change. No, I, it's I, not. I, I get where he is with that. Yeah. You know, his seating will not change, and he's going to probably draw. You can already look at the standards and kind of get a general idea of who he's going to draw. That's why I kind of yeah. joke with him about do you have a preference. And, and what he's talking about is let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Standings aren't going to change. The seating's not going to change. But he wants to go into the tournament with a win. How you been, man? Doing to a good try job, to pick man. it up and take a, a win into the tournament as opposed to another loss. Uh, he would chastise me, though, if I if he heard me saying this, that when you look about at this Delaware State roster, you see a lot to be excited about for next season. Yeah, no doubt. I know everything is you know, is a progression. You know, he's going into he'll be going into his third year, and um, you know had a lot of moving parts when he took over and was able to kind of build upon some things this year. And next year should turn out to be a really really good year for him because now he knows what he has and he got a better feel for. Who can do what? And so that means he can kind of set his chest board up to where you know he's always fighting from a position of strength. So um, we'll get there. But, hey, I'm just I'm just really excited about what we can possibly um, get an opportunity to experience in the tournament because I really think the potential is there. It's just about now them showing up and, um, and being able to finish. So the official sponsors of HSRN are.